Hey, what's up everybody? Brando Free to Play back on my Might and Magic Heroes Era of Chaos Free to Play account. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the marketplace and all of the different types of in game currency that you can earn in the game. Now, before I get any further, I do want to go ahead and say that this video is being sponsored by Ubisoft. And uh, yeah, I can. Just to let you guys know, I have been really enjoying myself in the game. I'm already level 54. I have over uh, 390,000 power. I'm, I'm like, I mean, I, I really do like the game. It's a really nice change of pace for me. And there is a download link in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, definitely, you guys will not regret it. I really, really enjoy this game. Now, <clears throat> Marketplace. There are a couple different tabs right here, right? You see Mystical, there's Arena, Campaign, Artifacts, Guild, Champions. So let's go with some of the basics. Mystical. Okay. So for Mystical, you can purchase uh, items with gold or with diamonds. Now, obviously, you get gold by completing uh, chapters by purchasing right here. You click plus, you get three. Well, I get three a day. Some people get more or less, depending on your VIP level and how far into the game you are, right? Um, you can get, uh, I think, I believe it's two by default, right? So you do get some uh, gold, uh, especially if you run out. Uh, you can get more diamonds. Again, diamonds you usually get via arena, uh, completing uh, stages. Uh, you can get diamonds in a lot of different places in this game, come to think about it. Um, you don't really have to purchase anything, right? Only if you want to. If you're a spender, hey, more power to you. I'm a free-to-play player. I don't fall for microtransactions. That's just me. All right. So mystical is pretty pretty simple in in that sense. Those are the two currencies that you're going to be using. Arena. All right. Now the arena, you guys can uh, it, it, get items from. I mean, no surprise. Arena. Right. So the arena is under the what is this? Colossus and then arena. Pretty self-explanatory, depending on where you are in the rankings. Right now, I am 411, right? And it can tell you how much you're going to get at the end of the day. If I keep my rank, I'll get an extra 740, which is not bad. I'll take it, right? Current rank rewards. It also tells you down here on the bottom, okay? All right. Next on the list let's go ahead and talk about campaign now i have made a video about campaign uh if you guys want to check that out just go ahead and type in might and magic heroes or mmh era of chaos campaign should come up uh campaign is fairly simple to complete you get to refresh it daily um, if you're free to play if you have a higher vip level you can obviously refresh it more times uh, depending on your vip level and you can get more uh, campaign, uh, I guess, what are these called? I don't know what they're called, but I call them campaign tokens. No, we'll call them that. <laughs> I don't know the official term. And you can purchase, uh, main, the main thing that I purchased here is uh, a Freddy, um, uh, you know, puzzle pieces or medals, because he's a pretty good hero. Artifacts. Now, artifacts. You can get artifacts in a couple different places if i'm not mistaken right um i believe you can get artifacts no not duel of heroes you can get artifacts uh trial of angels is it in here let me see no uh, where was it that you can get those yep trial of angels you can get artifacts in trial of angels i just needed to remember where it was that it tells you that this is where you get it, right? Obviously, uh, you get these uh, when you, it's the first win, right? 
And I believe you can get some uh, depending, maybe daily. I'm not sure. I need to just double check. All right. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the artifacts page, you can definitely get stuff like this, like the Sentinel Shield, which is a really, really important. Artifacts are actually very important in the game, which is something I know that I have. Ooh, I unlocked something. What did I unlock? Oh, I dismantled. Uh, I don't really need to do that right now. At least I don't think I do. Ooh, I can dismantle. Oh, let me try this. What's going to happen? Oh, I got one. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All right. Next item is guild. So we'll call these guild tokens, right? Uh, obviously, you need to be uh, in a guild for you to be able to use these tokens, right? And pretty much everything that you do in the guild can give you tokens, right? Um, especially if you go to your guild technology, you collect, right? You get guild tokens. You collect, you get guild tokens. I, I, I'm calling them tokens, right? Um, here, if you, oh, excuse me, if you donate, right you get 20 tokens if you donate 20 diamonds you get 20 tokens if you donate 100 diamonds you get 100 tokens right so this is just i'm just gonna go ahead and get my daily donations right 10,000 gold i get 20 experience Ooh, next donation grants double rewards i'll donate 100 tokens 100 diamonds i'll donate another 100 diamonds to get that double reward and i'm maxed out for the day all right. Um, I don't know if you were able to see, but now my guild tokens were at 990. Very, very nice. Now, uh, let me go ahead and check this out. Let me go back to the marketplace. Let me go down to guild. And one of the main things that I love to buy with my guild tokens is this orange crystal, right? Because it gives you 1,000 skill experience. Right, so essentially, how many am I getting? I'm getting 3,000 skill experience. That is a lot. It's no joke. It's seriously very, very helpful. All right, and champion, right? Champion is another uh, form of currency. I'll call these uh, champion medals or, call, or champion gold, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know if it has an actual name or not. I haven't really read into it. To be honest with you guys i just know what it is <laughs> right and here you can get different uh metals or puzzle pieces for your heroes you can get more spell scrolls you can get universal hero tokens um you can get a whole bunch of stuff here the main thing that i'm using the champion coins for or the champion tokens for is for the hero luna because it costs thirty thousand. And I get three Luna tokens for every 30,000 champion coins. That is actually pretty good, right? I am actually really happy with, with that, right? Because Luna, believe it or not, is actually a really, really strong, strong hero, right? Awesome hero to have. I, oh man, I, I, I want this skin. Redeem and Duel of Heroes. Now, that actually brings me to a good point right here. The skin. Redeem and Duel of Heroes. Now, in the marketplace, there is another missing tab here, right? It's not necessarily missing by default or by design, but if you go to Duel of Heroes, right, you can also get, you do get rewards, right? You get dual coins and you can use those coins in this store dun, da, da, dun. so here you can get avatars right you can get uh this guy and i believe the avatars are um right here this you can change that customize this uh which is actually pretty cool uh but myself personally i would want to buy this skin right and i am kind of far away from that right because this is 200,000 coins and i only have 20 
So it's going to be a bit of a grind, but I have no problem with it myself, personally, right? Um, but yeah, that's just something that you can unlock with these, um, with that currency, pretty much. And one of the things about this game mode is you actually, it's kind of like a lottery. You get to pick and choose the heroes and the units right it's random so you can use units that you don't have like i don't have a behemoth i don't have this uh guardian i don't have the firebird i don't have i have everybody else right yeah but i don't use everybody else right so you can kind of test out and see what actually works and what doesn't so this is actually pretty good game mode i might make a video about that later on in the future uh, but for right now, it's not active. So, yeah, it's okay. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about all the different types of currency and how to obtain them. Um, I hope it uh, kind of shed some light on all the different things you can do in the game and everything you, that you can get. So, yeah, until next time, guys, uh, please try the download link in the description. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.